Hello, it's me James, and welcome back to another episode of Simply Survival. This is the series where I like to show you tips, tricks, and tutorials, and of course, I like to do this in complete survival. So today, we are going to be making a iron golem farm, and I say we, we are actually joined by a special guest out of Chris World. Again, I'm going to put him in the description below. Again, I want to say a massive thank you to Chris. He has literally helped me so much um, in getting this iron golem farm farm to work so we're not going to waste any time i'm going to put all the items that you are going to need in the description below and just before that you start building this farm after you've got all the items ready there are a few steps you need to go ahead and do to make sure you've got it in the right location and nothing messes up so me and chris have gone ahead and removed any job blocks that does include stuff like these smokers over here and like this this guy here and of course we've removed warren and Clive and Jimmy, they are safely in the nether right now. And this is to prevent anything happening in the iron farm. Again, here's Chris. Hey, Chris. How's it going, bros? <laughs> there we go. So, basically, um, yeah, we've done that already. You want to make sure that you pick a location for your iron farm where it's going to work all the time. That means it's going to be in your simulation distance. So, basically, we worked out enough um here so basically it will work anytime that i'm in my base this is normally about 70 to 80 blocks from your iron farm something like that i think it's like four chunks or something like that on realms um so yeah you want to make sure that you've got it in a good location so it's generally working when you're like either in your base or something like that so uh, make sure you've got it all done correctly and first of all what we're going to be doing is the collection system so let's just jump straight on into it Step number one, what you're going to want to grab is your chest and simply place a double chest in this location, just like so. Um, again, you can place your double chest on the ground. Of course, mine is coming into my base. Now, if you want another double chest here, you're going to need another hopper for this design. Now, what we're going to need to do is go up, simply maybe place a holder block here, grab the only hopper of this kill chamber and place it here like so. Now, what we're actually going to need to do is simply place a couple solid blocks here like so. What you're going to want to do at this point is simply grab your track, uh, you don't want to crouch space on the scaffolding. Maybe crouch space on this hopper. Put one in this corner, one in this corner. What I would also do, just to be safe, place a block here so it doesn't fall off. Place one hopper minecart on this and one hopper minecart just here. You can then very quickly, uh, you want to place a track there. And then, of course, you want to place a track in the corner that you haven't already placed the track. And then they should start going a little bit crazy like so. Now, what we need to do is simply place four pieces of magma. Now, I'm going to come just here and continue to um, go up with my scaffolding and simply place the other two. Now, what we're going to want to do is place some buttons on top of these. And then we're going to want to miss a block, of course, and place four buttons here like so. This is going to be where we're going to put some lava on top of this. So, if I just remove this track, right, I mean, scaffolding. Basically, we're going to have lava on here, just here, like so. But right now, I'm going to leave it out, and then we'll put that in at the end. All right, and of course, what you can also do, if you really want to, grab yourself some glass or whatever, whatever you think looks nicest, and just box it in, just so, uh, you know, nothing uh, happens. Basically, from this point, this is where we are going to be building our iron farm. From here, as you can see... We've got our chute dug down to my base. Now, this is in the simulation distance. Make sure you've got it in the simulation distance. Again, um, basically what you're going to want to do is simply go up 10 blocks like so. And, of course, I forgot how many blocks that is. That's 2, 3, 4, 5. So, if we just go up 5 again, and that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then, of course, you want to bring that up all the way around so it looks a little bit like this. So, basically, as you can see, I've brought it all up so um the shoe is like 10 blocks above the ground okay so the next step as you can see you're going to want to go seven blocks from each side from like the kill chamber okay so you're going to want to go one two three four five six seven which uh will bring you eight blocks away from here right and then of course what you're going to want to do is link all of these up and fill it in with a solid block of your choice the next step basically you need to build up your corners three high um two wide like this so let me just explain that a little bit better to you guys 
go ahead and put a ring around the outside of your farm. And then in the corner, simply go up three and three each side. And then, of course, you want to kind of like make a staircase going down like that. And then you want to go around again, extending the uh, loop around the outside by one. So you're going to have a wall of two and then three on the corners. And, of course, you want a block like that. Okay? Is that right? So, again, just so you guys uh, fully get it, that's one, two, and then, of course, three, and then same here, same here, and then you just want to go all the way across with another one like so. Perfect. Awesome. That is all four corners complete and the walls around the outside done, and this is what it should look like. Next step, basically, we are going to need to put our beds in. In total, there are 20 beds, and Chris has gone ahead and made a platform like this. He's going to go ahead and place the first beds. Now, this is very, very important. Your first bled, bed, bled, your first bed that you place down is going to be the center of your village. Now, depending on what you have around your area, so for example, I'm going to be having a trading hall over there. Um, basically, I may want to move the center of my village a little bit further this way, but um, for the most part, Everyone is going to want their center of the village in the center of the farm. So all you need to know is uh, make sure you get your center bed in the center of the farm. From there, I'm fairly certain we can uh, go ahead and uh, place some beds down. And uh, Chris is going to show us how to do that. Again, he's got 10 beds. I've got 10 beds. And we're simply going to place, place the bed. It didn't place properly. And then, of course, we're going to do the same this side and basically your beds should look like this again um I, I i should have mentioned this first you want to go a total of one two three blocks uh above your platform and then of course place your beds so of course once you've done that you can go ahead and remove this wood underneath the beds you uh have done that step all right, so we've gone ahead and made our villager like um, area where they're going to live. So basically, we've done this side. It's going to be exactly the same this side. And I'm going to explain now exactly what you need to do. So we're going to have a block. And this block goes one block out, two blocks out. And basically, that is going to be a temporary block for you to put a half slab on the top of. And basically, you want to bring a line of half slabs all the way down. Uh, to the end of your beds what this is going to do is allow somewhere for your villagers to stand soon as you have done that you want to go ahead and place some trap doors on the faces of those half slabs all the way down so it looks a little bit like this well no not like that let me just remove this again i should probably mention these uh are temporary trap doors to make sure that this water doesn't fall through when we bring our villagers in individually that is when we are going to be replacing these for fletching tables but we want to bring them in individually so they don't mess up and everything connects correctly another thing i should mention uh basically you could actually do this with only one chamber so uh you could actually have just this one chamber here because the bare minimum for an iron farm is 10 villagers and 20 beds we're actually going to be using 20 villages and 20 beds again it's entirely up to you personal preference so the next step to this villager chamber is simply like i've done this side go ahead and place two blocks on the end of these half slabs like so again i'm making it a lot more difficult than it actually needs to be all right and then once you've done that each side you want to of course go on the back of the chamber and simply bring it up by two blocks so this is one and this would be of course two and, of course, bring that all the way down. Of course, you don't even need these corner bits. You can uh, leave those out just to uh, save yourself a little bit of resources. Again, that's entirely up to you. So, from here, basically, we are nearly there. Directly on top of the trap doors, you want to go ahead and place another row of blocks. Of course, to do this, you are going to need to crouch. Okay, so what we're going to need to do is uh, put our back to where our villagers are actually going to come from our villagers are actually in that box up there so we're going to put our back towards that and we're simply going to place two trap doors in each one of these half slabs okay so we're going to go one and of course you're going to need to crouch space and go two and we're going to do that down the entire line like so all this is going to do is help keep our villagers in place even more again you will understand the direction a lot more um, when uh, we start moving the villagers so what you're going to want to do now is simply open every single trap door and then once you've done that you want to go ahead and close every single one at the top 
And finally, to this villager chamber, you are going to need to start adding your water. Again, to make sure you don't get any spillage, um, go on the back wall like so. Uh, I mean, sometimes if you do this slab, you may get a little bit of spillage, so uh, just be cautious. Okay, so for the villagers, we are going to be using 20 villagers. We've gone ahead and removed those villagers over, over there. It's going to be a lot easier for us just to make some new ones. And basically, I'm going to show you how we've got this set up. The easiest way for you to move villagers around in survival. So, basically, Chris has very kindly gone ahead and set up this track. And basically... If you set up your trap doors like this, and obviously your truck like this, the minecart gets stuck here. You can then nudge them in a little bit, close the door, and it'll be stuck in there. Then what you want to do, jump down here, simply get yourself the fletching table and replace this with the fletching table. Do that one by one until you've got all 20 in. And basically, the reason why I have not started to do that just yet is because we've got to wait until the villagers have grown up. So as soon as they've grown up, I'm going to be back and I'll show you how to put one villager in. And then I'm going to put all of them in and I'll be back as soon as all of them are in there. No! Ah, Chris, help! No, 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 there's only... Oh, God. Oh, God, there's some bad stuff going on, Chris. The, the sharing beds. Okay, so, as you can see, Chris is basically pushing the first villager into the villager chamber. We are going to go ahead and follow Chris and watch exactly how this works. So, you can see that it doesn't go past the trapdoor. The trapdoor actually saves it from going any further. And very carefully, Chris is nudging the villagers in there. Once he's done that, he's closing... Um, this trap door, trapping the villager in there. He's removing this, placing the rail down, getting ready for the next villager. And, of course, afterwards, what he's going to do, he's going to come down here. And he's going to get his fletching table. And he's going to remove this, which I'm going to give him a hand doing. Oh! And that's why I shouldn't do stuff. Fortunately enough, we've got the trap doors in there. So, uh, we might be able to get him back in there. We might not. Hopefully, we can. All right, so I fixed it. I, I helped. I helped. All we need to do is fix the water from uh, coming down here, right? So I think that will fix it. Perfect. All right, that was my fault. Sorry, Chris. GG. Um, but yeah, you don't want to do that. All you got to do is remove the trap door. I am not going to touch this this time. Um, I'm going to wait for Chris to do this. Here, I'll remove this, Chris. Go on, place it, Chris. And he's going to place in the fletching table. And, of course, you want to do that to all of your villagers. We have managed to get one side of villagers in. As you can see, we've got a uh, iron golem already spawning down there. Basically, also, I forgot to let this guy grow up. So, I'm going to let this guy grow up. But while we're waiting for that, basically, what we need to do is make this path this side. So, uh, we can destroy this right now. And, of course, basically, we just need to turn here. So, we can get rid of this and this. And, of course, we are going to need some more blocks. It doesn't matter what blocks. Grab some of that. And, simply, we're going to want a path all the way down here. And, simply, do the same setup, of course, because we want it to be as easy as possible. Now, you don't want to do the same mistake I have just here. You want to make sure you've got yourself one gap between here and the trap doors so they'll easily go in. So, I'm going to do this very, very quickly and put the tracks on and I'll show you what it looks like. Hopefully, it doesn't take too long for that guy to grow up. Basically, we just got to wait for this guy to grow up, place this guy in, link him up, and then we're ready to get these final villagers in. Again, you don't even have to have 20 villagers. You can actually just have these 10. Although, for the most part, I'm going to uh, add another 10 villagers to make it a little bit better, right? So, while we're waiting for this guy, I'm going to go ahead and grab some leaves. I'm going to go around the edge of the farm and completely cover it with leaves. Basically, what the leaves are doing is just making sure no mobs can spawn on the edge of the farm. And, of course, we are going to fireproof these leaves as well. So, once you've done the outside of the farm, of course, when your villagers are all in, you are going to want to do the tops of those as well. But, right now, what you uh, could grab is some string. Of course, I've not got mine on me. So, to fireproof this, basically, we're simply going to place some string all the way on the top, like so. And that should keep that nicely fireproof. Awesome. So, this guy is actually grown up now, so we can go ahead and jump over here again these guys are nicely trapped in there i'm gonna crouch space and i'm gonna 
finally get this guy in. And what we got to do is just link him up like so. Oh, of course, we need the uh, this. Perfect. So what you could actually do now, like I said, you don't actually need to put 20 villages in. I'm going to put 20 villages in because I've got two chambers. Now, if you wanted one chamber, you could easily just uh, put one chamber in the middle or just one side and then add one afterwards. But now you could actually go ahead and start placing in your water. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Although I'm going to leave that closed in the middle. I'm just going to show you exactly uh, how you would place your water. So first of all, what you're going to need to do is, of course, make yourself a source block of water up here somewhere. Somewhere safe. Somewhere where you can just destroy it after. So I'm just going to go simply this side. And then basically, you're going to want to place a bucket of water in this corner. And then remove all three of these blocks. So two and three remove them you don't have to remove them quick like that and that should be good you want to do that in all four corners again you do want to make sure that this bit of water does flow out so if you have to do that again make sure it's flowing out nicely like this and of course time for the final bucket so you can see it glitches out a little bit there you just want to go ahead and remove that and then place the blocks in again like so and it should for the most part flood there you go. So you want to add the water and then place the two blocks on the side. Once you're up to this stage, you're going to want to grab quite a few buckets of water. Now, you don't actually have to go back inside the farm. So if you've got any, uh, like, nerd poles like this, you can actually get rid of them. And at this point, the more buckets you've got, the faster you're going to be able to do this. So uh, basically, you want to go ahead and miss this one and place a bucket of water here. So we're going to go one... And we're going to miss one and place another bucket of water here um, all the way to this point. So as it comes down, we're going to miss this one and then we're going to go here. Yes, it does normally create a source block of water here, but it, for the most part, it's okay. Okay, so once you've done that and everything siphons into the middle, basically, you're going to want to grab yourself some signs and we're going to make our way over to the middle. Now, you want to make sure you don't hit the iron golem because that could be, uh, yeah, could be pretty bad for you. So you might want to put a block down so you can stand on or whatever. Basically, you're just going to need to place one sign here, okay? We're going to place a sign on this like so and then basically we're gonna make it so the water will not go down here anymore right all right i'm just gonna kill this guy now he seems to be all right so i'm gonna i'm gonna just take him out be a lot easier as i was saying basically remove this block here and to be fair we're gonna have to add another sign here again it doesn't have to be too fancy and basically once you've got four signs here stopping any water you're going to go ahead and remove those bottom blocks. And, of course, remove any of these because this is going to mess up your water. So it all flows nicely. I haven't got my lava put in the bottom. So you must remember to put your lava in the bottom. Oh, we got another golem. Nice. Like I said, he's obviously not going to die. Well, he will on the magma uh, cubes. But, yeah. Okay, so final step. You're going to want to cover this platform up with some leaves. And, basically... Get yourself some solid blocks. This is to prevent um, lightning striking these dudes and turning them into witches. And you just want to bring these solid blocks all the way along. And of course, we're going to put some leaves on top of these solid blocks as well. And of course, you're going to do this, that side, if you are um, using 20 villagers. And what I'm going to do right now is just remove all of these. And, of course, I need to add my lava to my kill chamber. And this thing should be fully set up. All I'll need to do is add the remainder of the villagers. Oh, yeah. One more thing, actually. What you should do is add some string to those leaves. Okay? So, just grab these and add some string like this. And it should be a-okay. Um, so, again, I've just got to add these villagers, and mine is fully complete. But for the most part, it will spawn iron at the minute. So, it would be raining at the end of the episode, right? Um, that is all I have time for. I will catch you on the next one.